All right, you guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are discussing why you should shoot constant light over traditional strobes. So let's get straight into it and I'm gonna show you guys the setup. So just a quick shout out before we get into the setup. Shout out to Nanlite for sending over these lights. They sent me over the new 15X Pavo tubes and they also sent me over the new Forza 500B. As you guys can see, this is a very industrial, very high quality video light. It's bi-color, it's heavy, and they also sent me over the new projection mount, which I absolutely love and I'm gonna start using it a lot in my shoots coming up. It's very heavy, it's very solid, and I can tell it's gonna last a lifetime. If you guys wanna purchase any of this equipment, the link will be in my description below. Thank you. All right, you guys, so let me go ahead and break down today's setup. First, we have a Nanlite this is their two foot tube. This is the 15X, one of their newer lights. I love it because it's so small, it's portable, and then I have a grid on it. And what this grid is doing is focusing the light so that it only hits my subject. So for example, if I was to take this off, the light will kind of spill everywhere. But with constant lights, what you want to do is have a more controlled light to make it more cinematic and make sure that this light is only hitting what I want it to hit. And so we have this Nanlite 15X, and then we have this one set to 3400 Kelvin at 16%. And then we have our second two foot tube and this is set to color. And I set this to like a silverish light just to get like a little bit of a moonlight effect. And I brought the saturation down so that it wasn't too saturated. And this one is more so just coming down on this couch and it'll be coming down on our subject to give it kind of like a kind of like a moonlit type of feel. And then back here, we have our four foot Nanlite tube. And this is actually the 30X, one of the newer lights. And this is set to about 5% and pretty much the same as this top light, but this one is pushing a little bit more purple as this one is pushing a little bit more blue and silver. And so I set this back here just to light this background up a little bit and separate our subject from the background and then as far as this right here this is just a regular light bulb and to focus it down into this one spot i used tape and i wrapped it around the light bulb to make sure that the light doesn't spill onto this wall and then last but not least our main light is our nan light 500b the b stands for bicolor so i switched this one to about 3400 kelvin it's at about 12% right now because this light is very, very, very bright. So right now it's angled downward and I have a projection attachment on it. And I love this because it lets you really dial in and focus the light on how you want it. You can shape it to how you want it. And it also comes with these special attachments. If I want to make these look like window shutters or light coming through the um, window on like an early morning day, you can do that. And so right here, I just have the sides closed and I close the top and bottom a little bit just to get this small little slither of light onto this couch. And that's pretty much today's setup. And I'm gonna show you guys the first tip, which is speed on set. So for me, I'm a hybrid shooter, meaning I shoot photo and video a lot of times. So what shooting constant light lets me do, it lets me shoot photo and then when it's time for me to switch to video, I can just switch my camera over to video mode and start shooting video. And that just helps with speed on set. And in case I'm shooting photo while somebody else is on set shooting video, it allows me to simultaneously have photo and video getting produced at the same time. That pretty much just helps because if you're on these bigger shoots, these bigger productions, you wanna always try to move as quickly as possible. And so with having constant lights, and a setup like this, it allows you to switch back and forth to photo and video mode very quickly. And it allows you to capture photo and video at the same time. All right, so another benefit that these lights have is the ability to change colors without having to add gels to these lights. So as you can see right here with my app, all I have to do is swing my finger around and it'll change the color of this backlight without me having to go over and try out different gels, which can often get in the way on set. So 
This is just another feature that allows you to move around easily and spend less time breaking up and setting down lights. Okay, so the next advantage that constant lights have over studio strobes is basically the speed that you have when you're changing setups. So when I'm changing setups in studio with constant lights, I'm able to just move my light over, set it up, position it to where I want it to, and once you aim the light and get your intensity right where you want it, you're pretty much set to go. You see with these lights, you pretty much just set them up, get your lighting right, and you're ready to start shooting. You don't have to waste time, you don't have to waste battery, you don't have to waste flashes with your traditional strobes. You pretty much just set up your lights and you're ready to go. Let me see you uh, face me and then kind of give me kind of like a... Yeah, perfect right there. Okay, come this way a little bit. Come this way a little bit. Right there. There we go. So for my last and final tip on shooting with constant lights is when you're shooting with constant lights, your recycle time is pretty much none. When you're shooting with strobes, you know, after you take a photo, especially if you're shooting on full power, you have to wait for that light to recharge and get ready to take another photo. But when you're shooting constant, pretty much you're shooting as fast as you want to. So for example, if I come over here and I'm firing off shots. As you guys can see, I don't need to wait for any light to recharge. I don't have to listen for a beep. It's pretty much how fast me and the model can move on set is how fast I can move, which saves me so much time and it's so much more reliable, not having to depend on the battery, not having to depend on recycle times. Just pretty much how fast me and my client can move on set determines how long the shoot is gonna take, which I really, really appreciate. All right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. If you guys wanna check out any of these lights, check out the link in my description below. If you guys wanna check out Emmy on social media, you can find her at E-M-I-E-M-I-N-A-D-O on Instagram. And if you guys wanna check me out, I'm at Tommy.4K on Instagram. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.